Uh, hello everyone. Today we'll be working on object detection using YOLO V5 and PyTorch. First of all, we'll discuss about what YOLO is. Uh, YOLO works by dividing images into a grid. Each grid cell recognizes a single object. To determine the accuracy of each prediction, the grid cells predict all bounding boxes and assign score to them and uh, we are using the YOLO v5 version it is the latest version in YOLO YOLO v5 is the latest version of YOLO family it is a collection of object detection models that assigns for model assembling which involves combining multiple models in prediction process test time augmentation making random changes to the test images flipping and rotating them and in this PyTorch is also used what does PyTorch do? Py PyTorch is used basically because of its quick results and um, let's get started first of all we'll clone this repository after cloning this repository it will be saved here then we have to install some requirements related to this YOLO v5 object detection model when we are done with that then this command this command basically used for mounting the the repository into drive then we have to extract all the images the images that I stored in dataset the dataset contains the images of phones and uh, books in which books uh, cartoons are to be detected and th these are the extraction of those files after that here we can see cartoon and phone uh, training and validation is done on these two categories cartoon and phone then we have to import a YAML file it is available here after that data YAML file as we have run this file after that we have to use the content YOLO v5 model v5 it is also available here v5 open models and 5s yolo yml file we have here backbone head and i'll explain you the meaning of this the uh, yolo v5 structure is made of three parts first one is model head neck and ma first model backbone model neck model head in model backbone it is basically used to extract features from input image and from model neck it creates uh, feature pyramids and model head it is the last stage of re uh, detection that creates the final output vectors and the bounding boxes uh, applying anchor boxes to the features when we are done with this then we have the next command from ipython r dot core magic import we have from here we have to register we have to import register line cell magic we are done then we have to import then write a template cont uh, content YOLO it is also available here again backbone head and uh, these things are as I explained above the model backbone model head what is their purpose it has been explained before then we have to run our train.pi file by running this pi file I have given 20 uh, epochs to this file and uh, it is running on GPU CUDA we can see as uh, it is increasing to 20 the MAP uh, it is constant but uh, we can see uh, all uh, all the uh, boxes boxes they are varying like 1053 is for a pot 0 then it is 1005 for a perch 1 2 3 it is reducing it is reducing as the approach is increasing talking about the object it is increasing it is increasing it is increasing it is increasing as a pot is increasing so and the image size it is the same MAP and uh, yeah when we are done with this then we will be we can see the wall time and CPU time that has taken for the training period and then we'll talk about the tensor board 
the train PAY file has been imported here and we can see the approach for 1, 2, 3 it is given for all, all approaches and we can see the increase and decrease in MAP we can see from here a diagram has been pl plotted for the same graph we can understand the for more understanding of the data we can use this tensor mode then from utils.port import plot result we if we want to see the plotting result we can simply type the command from utils.plot import plot results image file name content and this uh, yolo v5 result result png is stored in this file i'll show you mm. yes in result 2 as we can see the file is present here here the box as I showed you in the approach file the box objectness classification precision recall has been plotted here for more understanding of the data then we have printed the training data here from the batch labels file batch labels file is available here in test batch we can see it is detecting our phone with the name written above the phone and the books in which cartoons are present and talking about again the training part coming to training part uh, the augmented training data is also shown here we have printed here it is available in content YOLO v5 folder mm. Present here. The file is present here. Yes. Yes. It shows the number written above the file. They are that we are working on. Suppose the cartoons and uh, the mobile phones it is just showing number 0 1 as we can see then if we want to detect our objects then simply we have to run this command content yolo v5 run train and the result in result file our weights are available for detecting our images from the data set it is detecting 32 images from the data set some images are of mobile phones and some are of cartoons here we are detecting images from training file and the next command we are training we are detecting of images from test images in this also 32 images are detected in which again images of cartoons and books are available phones are available then it is showing an overall data through the graph as we can see classes and uh, classes are being shown here one class is of phone and another one is of cartoon so it is and the height and the width of the data is also shown here x and y and prove that our YOLO model with the help of PyTorch is able to detect models images from the data set Thank you.